we're going to do today is a stuffed zucchini with orzo risotto. Chef Eric Levine's eureka moment about healthy food came with his fifth cancer. It's a numbers game. Yes, he's beaten cancer five times. Ostrich. That moment came on the best and worst day of his life. Hours after chemotherapy and radiation, barely able even to stand up, he competed on the Food Network show, Chopped. In the middle of it, I had that like moment of clarity where I thought, you know what, I could win this competition and I could beat cancer. So Chef Eric, you are the Chopped champion. He did win, but his doctor told him, change the way you eat or die. So far, he's lost 65 pounds. The relationship of food to health and wellness, uh, it's massive. I didn't get it. Now he wants everybody to get it. He sneaks healthy dishes like this stuffed acorn squash onto the menu at his New Jersey restaurant. When things are jammed down your throat, people resist. I definitely will make this at home. All of these things can work for you. What okay. cancer patients eat matters. You prepare meals on days when you're feeling well. Mary Eve Brown is an oncology dietitian at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. It's been reported that two out of three people, when they show up at that very first oncology appointment for treatment, are already suffering nutritionally, either undernourished or malnourished. So he had about a quarter of a cup of chicken noodle soup. How did that go? Terrible. Terrible. Because he was so undernourished, Jack Appelfeld's chemotherapy session had to be canceled. Any time we hold treatment, that has impact on survival. That's how powerful nutrition is during your cancer treatment. So, is there evidence that food can actually cause cancer? There's a relationship between high-fat meats and certain types of gut cancers. There's even a bigger body of evidence about obesity in cancer, female cancers, pancreas cancer. And what I like to say, Martha, is eat the rainbow. We want to eat a variety of colorful vegetables and fruits. This is the power of prevention. Dr. Margaret Cuomo has produced a documentary and a companion book, both called A World Without Cancer. We took a spin around her local supermarket on Long Island. The antioxidants and anti-inflammatory qualities of the vegetables and fruits we're seeing here today are those elements that are going to help us reduce the risk for cancer, diabetes, and other diseases. So says Cuomo, but there is some debate about the role of specific foods in cancer prevention, even organics. Still, she's a believer and says consider organic, but if you gasp at the price. Buy as much as you can afford. It's important that you eat the vegetable. That's the important thing. So if you cannot get them organic, you're going to eat the vegetables regardless. And here's something you may not have thought about. We want to keep to the periphery of a supermarket because the healthier foods are going to be located there. Cuomo says, fill your cart with fruits and veggies, like tomatoes, peppers, oranges. Broccoli, kale, collards. And she says, try green tea. Green tea is known to have catechins, and that has a powerful anti-cancer effect. We have some beans, we have our... And what does all that look like on your dinner plate? You want two-thirds of that plate to be consisting of vegetables, whole grains, and fruits, with one-third of it protein. That protein can be a bean, it can be black beans, chickpeas, lentils. It can be a lean protein like fish or poultry. And what do you say to people who say, I hate all that stuff? Learn to like it. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs>